Condition trotters are on the track and pretty to the post, racing one mile, first $2,000. Field of 70 drivers change on the seven, number one single stroke, owned by Melody Ross of Powell, Eric Lundford drives. Number two, Wildwood General, owned by Roy Murphy of Solano with Dave Miller. Three, she's mighty nice, owned by Don Elmer of Elmore, Mike Wilder up. Four is Kentucky Power, owned and driven by Danny Collins of Pompano Beach. Five, Gushing Action, owned by Alvy Long. Neil Long of Ohio, Alvy Long drives. Six is Prime Status, owned and driven by Dan Ray of Medina. And the seven, Oak Lawn Carrot, owned by Jeff Dennis of Wilmington. Drivers change Chip Noble. Sam Noble the third drives the seven. Wouldn't play show perfect up and pick three wagering. Post time in nine minutes, nine minutes to post. There they go. And they're off in its single stroke, striding away promptly for the lead. She's mighty nice from the outside is second. Between these two, it's Wildwood General. From the outside to fourth comes gushing action. The inside trotting of five. It's Kentucky Power. On the wheel and racing a sixth. Oaklawn Carrot. Far back, follow the break, the uh, trailer of its prime status. Maybe the first quarter mile marker, she's mighty nice, has taken the lead away from single stroke. She leads here by a length and a half, too. It's she's mighty nice by a length and a half as they reach that first quarter, 29 and 2, but to the outside, gushing action, uh, making his bid for the lead and gushing action, uh, charging to the front end here, taking the lead away from she's mighty nice. Single stroke remains third on the rail inside the fourth to Wildwood General. Racing a five, Kentucky Power, Oaklawn Kirid then uh, follows sixth, the trailer is prime status as they trot towards the half with gushing action and control here. Here comes single stroke now, moving first up of the outside and single stroke getting underway here as they reach the half in one minute flat. She's mighty nice on the inside is third, another two lengths, fourth as they move off the turn down the back stretch to Wildwood General. Now to the outside, here comes Kentucky Power, followed by Oak Lawn Carrot. Down the back stretch, and single stroke now will take the lead. Uh, single stroke by two. Uh, inside a second, it's gushing action. Out of the outside, uh, she's mighty nice again, getting underway here, followed by Kentucky Power. After three quarters, 129 and four, and single stroke. Top choice here has retaken the lead by two, but gushing action is looming and striking distance of the outside. Uh, second, she's mighty nice. On the outside is third, Kentucky Power, and slipping up the rail to Wildwood General. With less than a sixteenth to go, single stroke seals this one as she opens up here by a two. Gushing action back to the outside. A battle unfolding here for show, but a single stroke coasting home. Daughter of Mighty Crown from Single Flower. Away, Melody Ross of Paul Jeff Stover, the uh, trainer Eric Lundford in the Sulky. Fourth season's victory, second consecutive for the seven year old Ohio bred mare, trotting the mile in two minutes and a two fifths. One five perfecter returning $21.80, $21.80. And this evening's pick three, six, two, one combination, $2,572.40. Twenty-five, seventy-two, forty. That's three of three. Complete order finish. The one single stroke. The winner, Wildwood General. Four. She's mighty nice. Six. Race. One play show. Perfecta. First lag of this evening's twin try again. The carryover. Well over ten thousand dollars from last evening. 